Yo, what is up you guys? It's Funko Time over here. How are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for joining me in another episode of Funko Time, you guys. Really, really happy and excited for today. We got a ton of packages that we had received in the mail. We're about to go ahead and do an unboxing for you guys on this one. We are also going to be looking over our full Pokemon Funko Pop collection, you guys. I'm really, really happy and excited for today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys will be receiving more of my content, you guys. Anyways, you guys, let's get straight into it. Let's go. So you guys, our first package that we'll be looking over today is from the Funko Shop. And we've been waiting for this for quite some time and I already did my ordering on this sucker right over here, but I'm really happy and excited that I actually got it on time y'all. So, and I didn't wait as long as I was expecting for this package for uh, it to come into the mail, but really happy and excited to go ahead and do a review on this one right over here so let's go ahead and get straight onto it and show y'all what did i get in the mail show y'all how did funko shop package this now check that out the package looks clean uh, some bubble wrap here and a pop sorter so we're gonna go ahead and check out the pop and see what do we got and i'm not gonna go ahead and open this just show y'all check it out y'all who did we get Y'all already know, we got Woodsy Owl, y'all. So here we go, you guys. We got Woodsy Owl, part of the ad icons. It looks really clean and detailed. I don't know if y'all ever watched South Park, but he was on one of those episodes. And, um, but this details on um, this flock, Woodsy Owl looks really detailed. I really like how he has the whistle right over here. And um, they, didn't flock, they didn't flock, you know what I mean? Every entire piece with this pop right over here but it looks really detailed let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here on the back of woodsy owl it says woodsy says give a hoot don't pollute now that one is a really neat quote i really like that one right there and yeah y'all um he has a whistle really nice and detailed paint job number 96 out of the ad icon line flocked limited edition from the funko shop y'all we have woodsy owl let me know let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that all right, you guys, so this package right over here came all the way from Boom Blue. You guys, really happy and excited to go ahead and do a review for y'all on this one right over here. Let's go ahead and get straight onto it and show y'all what did I get in the mail. Quit talking and jibber jabbing. I'm really happy too that Boom Blue se sends out uh, their packages on time and they do a really great job with the packaging on the boxes you guys now check this out this is what i'm talking about this is what you call a boom loop um packaging right over here they really cared um how they would uh, package these funko pops now check this out i'm gonna pull the first one out who do we get so we got mewtwo and mr mine y'all looks pretty dope and oh okay so we're gonna go ahead and pull out oh Check this sucker out, y'all. Okay, so check this out, y'all. We have Mewtwo right over here, y'all. Looks really clean and detailed. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here. I kind of had to pull this sucker out. I know, um, you know, you kind of had to save the best for last, but this sucker right here kind of piqued my eye when I was opening up this box. So I had to show y'all real quick. We got Mewtwo right over here out of 581 from the games. Pokemon, you guys, looks really clean and fabulous. I really like the texture and the details within this pop right over here. On the back of the line, we have Pichu, Vulpix, Mewtwo, and Mr. Mine. Um, we already have Pichu, Vulpix, and um, Mewtwo already. And we also have Mr. Mine, y'all. Now check this Funko Pop right over here. We have we have Mr. Mine, you guys. Now check this one out. It looks really clean and detailed. I really appreciate the details on this pop right over here and the texture for that matter. I like the colors within this Funko Pop as well, you guys. And this is something I would not take out of the box even though it is a common. It is a common. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in the box for that matter until I get an extra one to to really do a full review because this pop right over here, I really like the colors on this one right here, y'all. Just check it out. We got Mr. Mine. Looks really clean and detailed. And on the back of the line, we still have the same line as well. We have Pichu, Vulpix, um, Mewtwo, and Mr. Mine. But we're actually gonna go ahead and do a full review on this Pokemon collection, y'all. Really happy and excited for it. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I've been holding out on you guys. I have one more package for y'all and I'm really happy and excited to go ahead and do a review for y'all on this one right over here. So I've been waiting on this sucker for quite some time and 
Shout out to my sender right over here. And yeah, y'all, so we have the package right here. So we're gonna go ahead and slice and dice and I'm not gonna go ahead and talk too much about it and just show y'all what did I get in the mail, y'all. So show y'all. What did I get? This package is really big, y'all. Holy cow, holy moly, guacamole. Oh, oh okay. So bit the pack um the sender actually really packaged this box, y'all. So they taped it really really good. So give me some time to actually access this. Okay, so check this out, y'all. A really big box right over here like I said I've been holding out on y'all and check out the uh, packaging that we got going on with this box right here it's really dope and detailed so I'm just gonna move this off to the side and show y'all what did I get oh my goodness y'all I'm really happy and excited for it holy now check this out you guys Ugh, okay y'all Check this out, you guys. Holy moly, moly, moly. So, this right here is a holy grail, you guys, that I got in this black bag. And check this out, you guys. Look what we have right over here, you guys check it out we have pikachu y'all looks really clean and detailed let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here we have the prototype pikachu you guys this one is really clean and detailed let me know what you guys think about this i really like the details and the structure and the texture that they did with this funko pop right over here you guys let me know let me know what y'all think about this 10 inch pikachu prototype right over here you guys yes this right here is like the same thing as owning a shiny Pokemon. So let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this right over here being like one of the shiny Pokemons. Just obtaining, you know what I mean, these Funkos right over here, you guys. Because this one's a rare Funko, you guys. It's something that you would not see, but I really, really like the structure and the detail with this prototype Funko Pop right over here you guys I really really do let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this I'm happy I actually got this one in my collection you guys this is actually considered as a holy grail to me and I don't think I would be letting it go anytime soon you guys are right, you guys starting off with the bottom row 10 inch line that I got going on right over here we have Charmander looks really clean and fabulous and there's also the San Diego comic-con Target exclusive Charmander as well. We also have the New York Comic Con Target exclusive um, Squirtle 10 inch as well, you guys. And they do have a Target exclusive, um, just a regular uh, exclusive sticker, Target exclusive um, Funko Pop um, that I was not actually able to get yet. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get in the hunt for that one right there. Uh, we also have Pikachu right here at the bottom. Um, we have EV 10 inch EV only exclusive to Target as well and followed by Bulbasaur and that is the 10 inch line y'all Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about the 10 inch line for the Pokemon And I know they are actually going to be releasing more like Mewtwo or um, I, I believe Vulpix for that matter I don't, I'm not too sure on that don't quote me on that but I know Mewtwo is actually going to be there um, over at Target um, 10 inch um, Mewtwo really looks fabulous and detailed um, just by judging by the uh, 4 inch pop you guys it really looks fabulous I really can't wait for this 10 inch Mewtwo to get in our possession you guys um, we also have the GameStop box right over here you guys and this actually um, comes with comes with the flock Pokemon um, like flock Pikachu, flock Squirtle, um, the enamel pins and a couple of stickers and keychains there as well you guys so i have one open and i actually have one that isn't open that's still wrapped up so really happy i was able to go ahead and cop that as well we also have the four inch line right over here you guys we have who do we have we have Volpix and we literally just picked up Volpix recently by Boom Loot. Shout out to you, Boom Loot. Um, Squirtle right over here. Um, Flock Squirtle GameStop exclusive. Uh, Matt Original Squirtle. Uh, Bulbasaur. Uh, who else? Flock Bulbasaur. Um, that's Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Um, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Uh, Flocked 
um, Bulbasaur as well and this one's from the con this one is also from the con as well we have Charmander and this one is from Emerald City Comic Con as well uh, this one is also Charmander and this one I believe this one you were able to get in stores if I'm don't quote me, I believe it's Walmart that you were able to get Charmander. Uh, we also have the matte original Charmander here as well. We have the first edition um, Pikachu, or, no that's not the first, this is the second edition Pikachu right over here. Um, we have the Target exclusive uh, Pikachu as well you guys, um, let me focus, there you go. Uh, Target exclusive Pikachu as well you guys, looks really clean and detailed. And I'm still surprised I'm actually still seeing a couple more of these figures um, being released at Target y'all. So if y'all need Pikachu, they're still being released at Target y'all. Keep an eye out for them because they're still hitting the shelves. Um, we also have the flocked, uh, flocked Pikachu for GameStop you guys, really looks clean and detailed really like this um, flocked Pikachu right over here we have Pichu the flocked Pichu looks really fabulous I really love the one uh, wonder con sticker right over here um, knowing that <laughs> you did get it from virtual con but still though um, pretty dope sticker y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that we also have this other flocked p2 right over here you were able to get those in stores as well um we have the matte original p2 right here and like i said i am a variant collector you guys so you know what they say for pokemon you got to catch them all you guys we have mewtwo right on the top and we did a review on that one as well we have mr mine and this one's a matte original mr mine and i really hope that they do more variants for mr mine like a metallic mr mine let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that we have the matte original eevee looks really clean and detailed and yeah y'all um we have the flocked eevee here as well wonder con flocked eevee and you were able to get these ones in stores i believe it was fye or hot topic for that matter we also have the con original um wonder con exclusive flocked eevee here as well you guys and last but not least we have the prototype check that out you guys it really looks clean and detailed with this nice display that we got going on right over here and i don't use any fancy displays you guys i literally just get a like a plain display that you would see at walmart and just start stacking a pops right on top of them and as long as you have pop protectors um you have nothing to worry about um my protect my pop protectors i would use uh would be the eco pop protector or any chalice protector for that matter you guys chalice has some really great protectors there's also those um heart stacks as well but there are other uh, different protectors out there as well you guys you could do your exploring as well anyways you guys let me know on the comment section down below what y'all think about this pokemon focal pop collection that i got going on right now looks really clean and detailed and i really hope that i'm able to go ahead and collect more of the prototype um pokemon funko pops you guys because you know finding a prototype pokemon it's like finding a shiny pokemon within the real world and looks really clean and fabulous and i'm really enjoying this line right over here let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that anyways you guys there you go i need to do more deep digging on these 10 inch pop protectors for my prototype you guys because i do not want to get this one right here damaged anyways you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you guys did make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be receiving more of my content you guys anyways you guys take care